M. What's a jumper project? Five little monkeys jumping on a bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Not that one. Jumping kingdoms in Rise of Kingdoms. Are we going to open a new account? We may. So what a jumper project is, is where you start a brand new account in an older KD, you play for 8 days, you stay below Town Hall 8, and then you do all the caves and all the villages, and you upgrade your commanders, and then you go to a 1 hour old kingdom on your 8th or 9th day, using a beginner's teleport item and that way you have a massive advantage over other players in that kingdom more accounts more accounts we're going to do more accounts well maybe let's see what our viewers think if they want to see a new jumper project we may do one hi mf welcome to our channel Hey, how's it going? Hey, mate. So we're here today to talk about a jumper project. So this is a jumper project that MF is going to participate. And this is where I'm going to participate as well. So I thought it's a good opportunity for us to have a chat with MF. MF is one of the leaders of this jumper group, Vini Vidi Vici. And we are going to find out more about what a jumper project actually is what are the benefits, and what this specific jumper project or jumper group offers. So, MF, tell us a little bit about a jumper project. What is a jumper project? Um, jumper project is like an organized group where a uh, group of players with the same, I guess, uh, goal in mind um, go to either an older kingdom or a new kingdom to get... I had to start on on uh, rewards and um, resources and benefits. So by the time they do land in their destin like their destination kingdom, then um, they would be able. To, they would pretty much land with like a pretty big head start. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Now, what's the difference be between starting in a new kingdom, as in all of us aim for one new kingdom, versus doing a jumper project? What what would be the difference? So basically, there's caves and um villages and stuff that you collect that you would have a basic like a like a head start collecting those rewards. As in, if you were to go to a newer kingdom and just start and land there. You would be starting from zero and you would have nothing and there'd be a lot of players that probably jumped into the same process like and i guess you'll kind of in a, in, a, in a sense you'll kind of be behind yeah no that definitely makes sense so in the beginning guys we did talk about a little bit about what a jumper project involves but um, based on what mf is saying it's all about getting that head start so that when you're in a new kingdom yes you can just start in a new kingdom but if you go through the jumper project itself which involves starting in a older kingdom spending eight days was it yeah, eight or nine seven, days or eight yeah seven or eight days yeah so it's spending eight days doing all the caves and upgrading your commanders a little bit and that gives you the head start so when you're in your final kingdom you have that ability to take control of the kingdom in a way as in you will have the plans around who who is who is who are going to be the alliance uh, who are going to be the alliance leaders and which alliances we are going to play through where those alliances are going to start and it, it it just avoids some of the early game complications that a standard new kingdom goes through in terms of um i guess having ownership of that kingdom does that kind of summarize it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Now, from your point of view, MF, what type of players should consider joining a jumper group? Um, all types, really. Um, people who are looking to start over and make make a main account. People who are looking to for a new kingdom to move to or grow in. Um, people who just want a new, who just want like I guess like a new start. Anybody's really open to uh, joining a jumper. So I think from my end, when I started playing 
the game first time, I didn't actually go through a jumper project. And the issue that I faced with that was I was quite behind myself. Even as a spender, I had to spend quite a bit to catch up to the people that did the jumper. So it's not a free-to-play or spender-specific thing. However, it's especially good for a free-to-play or low spender to go through the jump jumping process to ensure you do find your place in a good alliance. Because in early game, your account power and commander development is quite important for you to get into a good alliance. Now, right. MF, ha how can someone find a jumper group? Um, you can find jumper group in ROK Discord. You have YouTubers that have their recruitment discords and stuff. Um, there's actually quite a few ways you can find pretty good, decent jumper groups. The jumper group that you're leading, for someone to be part of this jumper group and join the jumper group, what would be the best process? Uh, well, the link will be in the uh, description of the video. And um, yeah, so you can just uh, reach us there and make sure so when you guys enter the uh, Discord to fill out the verifications and you guys are basically in. Good, great. So to join this jumper group, is there any requirements? As in, do you have to be an experienced player or do you have to be a spender or anything as such? No, not not at all. You know, I mean, we accept anyone with from all backgrounds. You know, all we ask is for each for us to respect each other. That sounds great. Now, um, do you have a timeline for when this jumper group is going to start, or is it still being um, decided at this stage? Um, I, it's not like set in stone, but we are looking towards the end of December or beginning of January. Okay, that sounds great. So if if anyone interested joins the Discord group, they will be updated there in terms of the time and date and which kingdom we are going to start and which will be our final kingdom and so on. Right. Yeah, sounds good. Now, in terms of this jumper group in, in particular, MF, so what's your goal with this jumper group? As in, what are you trying to achieve with the group of players that you're collecting? Our goal with this jumper group is basically to uh, create a kingdom with a good environment and and that is still competitive. Like we want to um, make sure that we go into every K every, every KVK with the idea of winning and to have a very competitive uh, Osiris League team. Yeah, no, that sounds good. So, how are you looking at making sure that everything is fair in terms of running the kingdom in general? Um, it's really all about activity when it all comes down to it. Our activity and contribution, really. I mean, we'll yep. take our, we'll we'll do what we can to you know measure the the activity and everything we can. But um, yeah, that's all it comes down to in the end. Spot on. In terms of the time zone, is there a prominent time zone where most of the players come from, or is it actually truly global where you you actually have players from um pretty much most parts of the world? Um. It's looking like we have players from, like, all over, honestly. Um, we have a lot of people that are, uh, like, a UE time zone and uh, US time zones, but uh, there's p people from everywhere, honestly. Yeah, MIB, um, the other prominent leader, I would say, he's from Singapore, right? Right. Yeah. And um, I I'm just trying to stick out for the Asian time zones. So I'm from Sydney, Australia. So my time zone is the Asian time zone as well. So we do have quite a bit from the Asian time zone because I know a few players. And you mentioned that there's coverage from US and um, Euro time zones as well, right? Right. It's good to know that we, we got decent coverage in terms of time zone. We do have a few viewers who are very early in the game so let's say they have played for a couple of weeks or so or maybe a month now for these players would you recommend for them to join this jumper process and restart playing the game again would they benefit a lot from doing that or would you recommend them pretty much just keep playing and consider a jumper group later i actually would recommend to them to uh, join a jumper because um if they were anything like me when I first started playing this game, more than likely they've made a lot of mistakes as far as commanders and 
as far as um just 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 civilizations and choices you make early on like there's a lot of things that you might want to reconsider or and you won't be too far into like not want to turn yeah. back at this point yes so in terms of your investment i think yes i i agree with you so it comes down to how much investment time and money you have made into the game already so if you are talking about not too much dollar value spend and if you're not talking about you know months and months of time spent playing the game already joining a jumper project such as vini vidivici for which you'll have the links below in the description it actually has that value where you will be able to actually make decisions much better in terms of your commander development commander investment and cities I'm trying to say civilization, <laughs> civilization choice and other in-game choices that you make because the other benefit of joining a jumper group is where you will have quite a lot of experienced players leading the group and even the Discord channel that I joined for Vini Vidi Vici, I have seen quite a few guides there already in terms of what should you be spending on, which commanders to invest on and so on. So you'll have generally a lot of guidance now if you know what you're doing you don't have to care about the guidance but in case if you're in two minds or uncertain then you can benefit from all the support that you get so everyone out there playing if you haven't been playing for too long if you haven't invested too much money then definitely consider joining this jumper group and also players who have been playing for years now and you want to experience the early game again the fun of kbk one and two running around with budika and lohar and pelagius and all those epic commanders and nowadays there are more epic commanders as well so anyone interested even if you're an experienced player feel free to join i'm sure it'll be tons of fun now mf thank you a lot for joining this conversation with us and i thought it'll be great to have you so that people joining the jumper group get to see and hear from the leaders a little bit as well yeah, thank you for having me. No problem, mate. Thanks a lot for that. And I'll see you on Discord soon.